हेलो एंड वेलकम गाइस टू डिसेप्शन एज पर योर रिस्पांस ए डिसेप्शन इज गोइंग टू कवर द सेमेस्टर वाइज सिलेबस फॉर ऑल द मेजर सब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ आईसीएसई क्लास 10 2022 बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो एंड वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द मैथमेटिक्स आईसीएसई क्लास 10 2022 सेमेस्टर वाइज सिलेबस एंड अ फ्यू अदर टॉपिक्स टू व्हाट आर दोस टॉपिक्स लेट मी टेल यू वन बाय वन the first thing that we will cover is the semester wise syllabus. The second thing is how you can prepare for the first semester examination. And the third thing that we will cover is what are the MCQ type questions that can be asked. So watch this video till the end and if you like it, do hit the thumbs up button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel Edusception. Also press the bell icon to get notified of all our videos. Guys, before beginning, let me tell you that Eduception has covered the entire syllabus of ICSC Class 10 Mathematics. The link to that playlist will be in the description box below and your top right corner. Make sure to check it out. It will surely help you. Now, first, let's begin with the semester wise syllabus. First, we are going to discuss the syllabus for semester one. Now, guys, Semester 1 will be of 40 marks and it will be MCQ type exam. That means multiple choice questions. You will have a question and that question will have either 4 or 5 responses and you will have to select the correct answer. Okay. Now the council has said that this will be an online exam. Now this can mean two things. First of all, you can either sit at your home and take the exam or the second thing you may be called to your school and the exam may be held online on computers so the council has not yet said what type of online exam it can be but it may be one of the two that i have mentioned so we will have to wait for that and let council say what type of online examination it will conduct okay so guys let's talk about the syllabus of semester one okay there are nine chapters the first chapter is GST that is goods and services tax. The second chapter is banking. The third chapter is linear inequations. The fourth chapter is quadratic equations. The fifth chapter is ratio and proportion. The sixth chapter is remainder and factor theorem which is also called factorization. Then the seventh chapter is matrices. The eighth chapter is arithmetic progression AP and the ninth and the final chapter is similarity so guys this is the syllabus for semester one exam that will be held during the month of november now i would like to tell one more thing over here that we have already covered the reduced syllabus for icsc class 10 2022 mathematics make sure to check that video out i will link that video in the description box below and your top right corner in that video, you will understand the portion of chapters that have been removed from the syllabus and the topics that you don't have to study. Now guys, we'll move on to the syllabus of second semester. We now move on to the syllabus of semester two examination. Guys, semester two examination will be held in the month of March and April 2022. Semester 2 examination will be of 40 marks and it will be a normal examination that will either be held online or offline depending on the pandemic situation of the country during the month of March and April 2022. Now let's discuss the syllabus for semester 2 examination. There are 9 chapters in the syllabus for semester 2 which are first reflection, second section formula, third equation of straight line, fourth circles, fifth mensuration, sixth trigonometry, seventh heights and distances, eighth measure of central tendency and the final chapter, the ninth chapter probability. So guys, this is the syllabus for semester two examination that will be held during the month of March and April 2022. Now that we are done with the semester wise syllabus for mathematics, we will move on to how you can prepare for the first semester examination that will be held during November. Moving on to a few tips 
on how you can prepare for the first semester examination of ICSE Mathematics. The first point, take the semester 1 exam very very seriously. Guys, you might think that the semester 1 exam is a MCQ type exam and it will be held online so it will be very easy. That is certainly not the case. You should take the first semester exam very very seriously and treat it like a normal board examination and be punctual with your studies. The next point, complete at least one chapter in one week. Guys, we are now in August and the examination will be held in the month of November. So you basically have either three months or three and a half months for your preparation. What you can do is in one week, try to complete at least one entire chapter and how you can complete an entire chapter first go through the chapter second solve the example section third solve the exercise section and fourthly try to solve at least the last 10 years of that chapter that way the concept and the topic will enter your mind and it will never leave you the next point Solve at least the last 10 years questions. Guys, I have already told you that, that once you finish a chapter, try to solve at least the last 10 years board questions of that chapter. That will be very helpful and you will understand what type of questions will be asked. Next, big calculations. Guys, this is one thing that I have been following for a long time. Now, whenever you do any big calculation, say for example, a very big division or a very big multiplication or decimal multiplication, decimal division, the sort of big calculations where errors can be made easily. When you do those big calculations, check that calculation then and there only. So if there is any error, you can rectify it then and there and it will not affect the entire sum. So whenever you do any big calculation, check it then and there one more time. It will help you a lot to minimize your silly mistakes. Next point, regular practice. Now guys, regular practice is very, very important to increase your speed. And speed is very important for any mathematics exam, especially if it is a board examination. So practice regularly. Now, if you have completed one chapter in one week, Try to practice that chapter also during later time. Now, finally we come to time management. Guys, the council has not yet released the pattern of the examination. So I can't really say anything about time management because we don't know the duration of the examination. But still, practice regularly and try to minimize the time that you take to solve any sum. Now. Once you are finished with completing all the chapters, you will have to start the revision of the chapters so that you face no problems while taking your examination. Now that we have discussed a few tips on how you can prepare for the first semester examination, we will move on to what type of MCQ questions can be asked. Moving on to the types of multiple choice questions that can be asked in the semester one examination. Guys, let me tell you beforehand only that you will have to solve entire sums and you will get the answer of that sum and you will have to select the correct answer from the four options given. So more or less it will be similar to a normal examination. The first one, one sum will have four options and you will have to select the correct answer of the sum after solving it. Let me give you an example. Say this is a sum from quadratic equations. The roots of the quadratic equation x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0 are you have four options a b c d you will have to solve the sum and then the answer that you get you will have to select that answer from the four options the next type number two one big sum will be given and two or three questions will be asked based on that sum Say for example, chapters like GST have multiple parts of the sum. So what can be asked is a big sum can be given. Say for example, a retailer purchases a fan for Rs. 1500 from a wholesaler and sells it to the consumer at 10% profit. If GST is 12% answer the following and 
two or three questions will be asked and you will have to answer those two or three questions based on that entire sum say we have the first question the selling price for the fan by the retailer excluding gst is you have four options and the second question the cgst paid is you have four options you will have to select the correct answer so basically based on one big sum you can be asked two or three different questions so guys these type of mcqs can be asked in your examination now let me tell you one thing over here what i will do is i will prepare a pdf of multiple choice questions of all the chapters that are present in the semester 1 syllabus and put a link to that pdf in the description box below check it out it will surely be helpful for you guys to understand what type of multiple choice questions can be asked in the examination now that i have mentioned that i will take your leave guys all the best take care and stay at home